whatever looks like a case that the enemy has been using against you that case is sorted now before this day is over it is evident that your captivity is torn God has commissioned Bishop David Oyedepo to preach the word of faith, liberating men everywhere from all oppressions of the devil. Get set for an empowerment that will enable you to rule in the midst of your enemies and subdue them under your feet. Now, Bishop David Oyedepo. Prophetic Focus, I will bring you health and cure how many of us have it right now i will bring you health and cure lift it up if you do this is god that cannot lie speaking i will bring you health and cure this is the Most High God, your Father and my Father, saying to you, I will bring you health and kill. If you believe that's who the Lord is speaking to, let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. That is the all, what the Almighty has come to offer us this month. How many are interested? not just healing i'm bringing you health and cure i will heal you and keep you healthy i will heal you and keep you healthy come and say that's me this month is going to mark the end of every form of harassment of sickness and disease in your life <laughs> jeremiah 33 and verse 6 I will bring it, I'm talking about Israel, health and cure. And I will cure them by revealing to them abundance of truth that will bring peace to every storm of sickness and disease in their lives. So his offer of health and cure is on the basis of abundance of revelation of the truth. Abundance of revelation of the truth. Therefore, this month, God will be unveiling abundance of revelation to you. Bring about supernatural restoration of your health and vitality. And sickness and disease will become an issue of story in your life. It will become history forever in your life. I will bring Israel health and kill. And I will kill them and reveal to them abundance of peace and truth. And I will cause, verse 7, the captivity of Israel to return. I will cause the captivity of Judah and the captivity of Israel to return. And I will build them as at the first. I will restore their dignity as at the beginning. As at the beginning. And that's you. Like Abraham, you will live all your days in San Hell. Like Abraham, you will live all your days in Sunday. Abraham was once 75 years old. He lived strong. At 150, thereabouts, he was climbing the mountain. Abraham was a superman. Therefore, because God has spoken, your total health and vitality is declared fully restored by diverse encounters and in this service somebody is going back home with his total health package that looks like you let me hear your loudest amen father breathe on your word today let there be a revelation of the truth 
that will establish the cure and health of your people let it be lord in jesus name give the lord a big hand and please you may be seated the church of this size cannot touch everybody effectively at the center and so the cell system is god's wisdom for effective ministry to every one member in a large congregation like ours uh, be part of it and you will see the reason why you should please take time to read this when you get home today i said something in the first service the lion is a huge it's a very powerful animal but it cannot bring down a rhino by itself it takes a company of lions to bring down a rhino can i hear your amen there are some rhino kind of trouble that confront us that will need two three lions to join forces together to bring it down that's why you must be a part of wsf it will be a lot of blessing and immediate covering within your neighborhood where you can get spiritual response a family was poisoned and they were dying husband belly was coming out her belly was coming out wicked devil and jesus came to help they didn't know who to call jesus came to help we need to enter connect so we can shut the devil out of our environment can i hear your amen yeah. also faith tabernacle a city of refuge is given to everybody this is to enhance your confidence in god in the place he has planted you it's a city of refuge for all generations you can see what that means everybody has an encounter here why do we how do we get the encounter god's presence you can plug into that in the name of jesus glory to god the prophetic focus for the month is i will bring you health and kill come on let me hear you say it together say god will bring me health and kill god will bring me health and kill this month my god will bring me health and kill this month i am ready for it and i'll receive it health is the greatest asset of life how many will say amen to that Health stands out as the greatest asset of life. And the world will say, health is wealth. When a man's health is challenged, everything he has loses value. They want to give him oxygen, at 3,500 naira per liter or whatever he says his house he says his belongings he says his shares at any price that's why when Jesus came to redeem us total health package is part of that redemption God said, I have settled my agenda for your health and prosperity. I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prosper. God does not want us to be only spiritually robust. He wants us to be physically, mentally psychologically emotionally robust so today as the lord live it whatever represents a challenge to your health will be turned to a testimony in your hand 
this shall be to you today a mountain of deliverance and restoration yeah. you believe it let me hear your loudest amen yeah. so our series in our sunday teaching services this month will be is there no balm in gilead I'll be taking our time to explore the mystery of the balm in Gilead. Let's now go for our text in Jeremiah chapter 8 and beginning from verse 19. Jeremiah chapter 8 and beginning from verse 19. Please, I want you to be pregnant with expectation for your restoration be pregnant with expectation for your total restoration be pregnant with it chapter 8 and verse 19 he said behold the voice of the cry of the daughter of my people because of them that dwell in a far country Is not the Lord in Zion? Is not her king in her? Why have you provoked me to anger with your graven images and with your strange vanities? What that means is, oh, we wish we were in a developed country where there is a lot of advancement in medical science. Oh, I wish we were in this powerful country in Europe. This kind of thing would not have happened to me. I wish the medical position in our country is advanced. I won't be in this mess. He said, you are provoking me to anger. Are you trying to compare me with medical research centers? He said, Behold the cry of the daughter of my people. They say, Yeah, we have a right to. The summer is past. The harvest is over. And we are not here. Verse 20. He said, For the heart of the daughter of my people and my heart. Verse 21. Astonishment has taken hold of me. Is there no bar in Gilead? And is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of the daughter of my people recovered? Tell the story. They were blaming their situations on the environment. Not knowing that they are victims of their ignorance. Is there no bar in Gilead? They are not aware. Is there no physician there? They don't know him. The great physician is here. The same baptized in Jesus. He speaks the broken heart to cheers oh hear the voice of jesus sweetest name in seraph song sweetest note on mortar tongue sweetest carol ever song jesus blessed jesus Who is this great physician? His name is Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 verse 12 and 13. They that are whole have no need of the physician, but they that are sick. 
But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and no sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Jesus introduced himself as that physician in prophecy. I am the physician that Jeremiah spoke about. I will respond to the cry of mercy any day, any time. And when he came, every time he said, Have mercy, he said, I'm here. What do you want? Have your sight. Son of David, have mercy. That's my ministry. Be made whole. I will have mercy. He's the compassionate, great physician. Ever compassionate, untiringly compassionate. His compassion is filled this hall this morning to flow into every dying soul that we cry unto him. Is that great physician and has his great prescription? that will impact on every part of our body for free. Is there no bomb in Gilead? What's the bomb? Attend to my word. Give ear to my sayings. Let them not depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. They shall be life to them that find it and health. To all their flesh. Proverbs 4 20 to 24. Only to them that find it. And you have to seek it to find it. For he that seeketh, find it. Therefore, come with a seeker's heart this month to every service. Every service is uniquely packaged. Sunday is different from. Wednesday, Wednesday is different from Sunday. And this month we're changing the concept of our cell system. So we have the testimony program. We have the question and answer programs that will help illuminate people on the subject of the month. And then we have the praying one for another session with a requirement for total health delivery. Can I hear your amen? amen? People are no longer seeking. That's why they stop finding. For he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh the door shall be open. God's word is God's all round bound for our total health. God's word is God's all round balm for our total head. See outside there. That's how God is blessing your life to overflowing this year. Every aspect of your life is changing level forever. God's word is God's all round balm for the restoration of our total health. It shall be health to all thy flesh. Health. In the year 2000 in Abuja, I was in there for an assignment and I decided to call by the church in the night, in a breakthrough night. And there was a child that was dead, confirmed dead in the hospital, came to church. Church doctors also confirmed her dead. The mother said, I will not go because I learned this prophet is coming here tonight. You see, you have to be expectant. So she kept the dead child on the third floor of the children's department till the night prayer from 1 p.m., 1.30 p.m. Now, at about 12.30 thereabout, I came in 
and I was going to be there for only about 30 minutes. I took the microphone. Is there no bomb in Gilead? The power of God went to the third floor. Resuscitated the child back to life. At the first statement. At the first? At the first? At the first? Somebody's getting healed right now. That, without my knowledge, without what? I wasn't told any child was dead anywhere. God's powerful healing and deliverance word came out of my lips from scriptures and the child bounced back to life. 2006, they brought that child to me here in the office. The same child that was rescued from the jaws of death was brought back here 2006 to see me. He saved his word and it healed them. And the word delivered them out of all their destructions. God's word out of all their destructions. Mm. God's word is God's all purpose drug for the cure of every manner of disease and every manner of sickness. Therefore, whatever manner came between to this service as the Lord liveth, because himself took your infirmities and bore your sicknesses. Matthew chapter 8 and verse 17 that it may be confirmed as it is written himself took your infirmities and bear our sicknesses it is written whatever is written is settled in heaven forever himself took our infirmities and carried our sicknesses on his head you don't have to carry it again. Somebody already carried it. There's nothing more to carry. Therefore, I decree your liberty now. God's word is the great Bound for the cure of all manner of sickness and disease. That man came forth with revelation. He said, Speak the word only, and my servant shall be made whole. Matthew 8 8. And as the word went forth, his servant was made whole the self same hour. Matthew 8 13. Was made whole the self same hour. God's word has the power for instant restoration of our health. The good news here is this God is not bringing you health and cure. God has brought you health and cure. Say with me, God, say by redemption. God has brought me health and cure. Now, Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6 and 7. It's a prophetic word. And Jesus came in Matthew 8 and verse 17. It has become an accomplished prophecy. Himself took. Eh? Surely I have borne your griefs and carried your sorrows. So he came and fulfilled it. And the Bible says in 1 Peter 2.24, by whose stripes ye were healed. So, 
God has brought you and me health and cure by Jesus Christ. Health and cure by Jesus Christ. Health and cure by Jesus Christ. If he took it, then they can't be there. Himself took my sicknesses and carried my pains. So you don't have them. For anybody to say they see, he sees it, he must be blind. Because the one who took it is the truth. So for any man else to see, he must be a liar. For you to see, you are deceived. So I return to you abundance of peace and health. Amen. Not sickness and disease. Amen. That's what Jesus offers you and me in Christ. So sickness and disease become spiritually illegal in your life. They, they have no legal right to operate in your body because you have been redeemed bought with a price so that your body cannot begin to glorify God. So whatever does not glorify God in your body must drop here today. They must drop off you today. Whatever does not glorify God in your life must drop off you today. Somebody believe that? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. God's word is God's healing balm. Please note that behind every sickness and disease is the spirit of infirmity. Literally translated, the spirit of sickness. Luke chapter 13, verse 11 and 13. There was a woman in the synagogue that had the spirit of of infirmity which translates the spirit of sickness and could in no wise lift up herself and when jesus saw her called out to himself to to him and said woman thou art loosed from the spirit of infirmity and the bible says immediately she was made straight and glorified God it is your being made straight that glorifies God so if it says that you are bought with a price first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20 therefore glorify God in your body that means every part of your body must be made straight must be correct must be correct must be sound your blood must be sound. Your bones must be sound. Your marrow must be sound. Your heart must be sound. It is the soundness of your body that glorifies God. It is the soundness of my body that glorifies God. Therefore, I decree the anointing for soundness into your body. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive the anointing for perfect health now in the name of Jesus. It is your total health that glorifies God. Just like the total health of a child is what glorifies his father. You can't be announcing on the street. Two of my sons are terribly sick. I just thank God. The third one is about dying. I thank God. No, no. You see, my son has never been sick. That becomes a sin of pride. From today, no one of us will be a concern to God anymore. Because when you are hurt, 
when I'm hot, God is hot. There is no man whose son will be sick and will be such laughing all around town. No. When you are grieved, God is grieved. And why is God grieved? You don't have to be hot. I freely, fully paid the price. Why? 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 You don't have to be on that bed. I fully paid the price. That's why it's hot. You leave this service today, and you will know in yourself that your position has changed. Right now, God is changing your heart. Right now, He's changing your lungs. Right now, He's changing your liver. Let me tell you the three dimensional healthcare ministry of the Word of God. One, God's word is medicina. Come and say medicina. The word in Proverbs chapter 4 verse 22 that talks about health to all your flesh. The original context talks about medicine to all your flesh. It shall be medicine to all your flesh. It shall be medicine to all your flesh. Medicine to all your flesh. Medicine. He sent his word. And it was medicina. And kills them. <laughs> God's word is medicina. Has curative virtues within it. Psalm 107 verse 20. Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 to 22. Secondly, God's word is sojika. Whatever is not curable must be repairable. So God's word is sojika. With capacity to repair any part of your system searching through the bones even into the marrows and it's a designer of the intents of the heart there could be instant open heart surgery by the word for the word of God is quick and powerful God's word is quick and powerful Hebrews chapter 4 verse 12 sharper than any two edged sword piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit <laughs> and of the joints and marrows and it's a designer of the thoughts and the intent it can heal your thoughts it can heal your imaginations. Ay, 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 ay. There is no such medical center in the world. It can carry out surgery on your thoughts, surgery on your imaginations, just to deliver total health to you. It can heal your emotions. Come on now. God's word is surgical. You know when God made man, He said it's not good for man to be alone. I want to make and help meet for him. And so man was put to sleep and God operated on him. You remember he said, I am the Lord, I change now. God is still the master soldier. Yes. He's still operating on people. And he removed one rib and brought it out. And with it, he made, he made. A woman. Genesis 2, verse 21, 22, 23. He made a woman and closed it, and there is no sign of stitches. Master Sojourn. Master 
after sojourn. And you know, in the beginning was the word. The word was with God, and the word was God. So the word is still so today. John chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. God's word is still so today. Hear me, hear me. In Uganda, Kampala, in Kampala, Uganda, sorry, we saw a woman that escaped a ghastly accident where everybody has died. But all her ribs were ruptured. So they package her like a specimen. Wherever they put her, that's where she stays. And I spoke about the surgical part of the war. She went to bed in the night. The master surgeon showed up in white women and began to fix the body. Fix the body. Fix the body. She stood up the following day, removed the gadgets. Jesus the master soldier by the word of God stepped in and repaired her. God's word is medicinal, God's word is surgical. Number three, God's word is creative. If it cannot be cured, it can be repaired. If it cannot be repaired, it can be replaced. Yes, sir. It can be replaced. God's word is creative. I spoke to that woman, 1983, at Kurujos, at Nips. Woman, God has a spare part store. Sure. Your womb has been stolen. He said the thief come in number four to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But I have come to replace whatever the thief has stolen and to replace it in the most perfect form. Do you believe? Husband and wife said, I believe her. Now in Jesus' name, have your baby. Nine months after, bouncing baby boy. He replaced the missing womb. God's word is creative. In the beginning, God created. In the middle, God created. In the present, God is creating. In the future, God will create. And so, in this is whatever part of your body that has been damaged beyond repair, today, yes, I vow by God, there shall be a replacement. I vow by the truth, there shall be a replacement. All things were made by the word. And without the word was not anything made that was made. In the word is life. And the life is the light of man. And that light shines in darkness and darkness can't stop it. Listen to this. No devil can stop God's creative word from delivering for everyone who believes. So if you believe it, your eyes will be replaced now. Your ears will be replaced now. Your mind will be replaced now. That's what qualifies God's word to be the all-round balm for the total health package of God's people. All ran bam. Tati so pleke to see ya ye shagaga kradi tonano. Man, this is what the Bible says. Every pain, every ache, every discomfort is today declared averted in your life. You believe it? Let me hear your loudest. Amen. God's word is medicinal. God's word is surgical. And God's word is creative. There is no health need that will go beyond those ones. 
if your liver is not good, I will replace it. <laughs> if your lung is not good, I will replace it. If your marrow is not good, I will replace it. Come and say, I'm covered. Say it convincingly. Say it convincingly. No one pays for any goods twice. Amen. The price for your total health has been fully paid. All you need is take delivery by the violence of faith. Take what? Take delivery by the violence of faith. Take delivery. Years ago, I had some attack of fever. And my uncle out of concern said, Now that you have prayed that you are not healed, anger rose in me. I almost passed on him to tear him. Who told you I'm not healed? Who told you I'm sick? As I was shouting at him, the healing battle was flowing to my body. I got up from there. It ended there. We are too soft for the victory we desire. That's why they call sick people patient. They call sick people patient. Because they are too patient to be healthy. Amen. Amen. Too patient to live a healthy life. They are too patient. They say, put your hand like this. Your finger like this. Leave this one. Turn this one like this. Don't laugh. It is the nature of lions to be violent. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't possess your possession as a sheep. No. When a lion appears, every sheep keeps running for their life. You can't say this is your territory. Only lions have territory. Only li you don't have a territory as a sheep. Only lions have territory. So they call it lion's den. That is who dares it. Who will die? It? This is the lion's den. Who will die? It? No sheep has a territory. Men have maintained my territory as a lion. It's time to secure your territory as a lion. For the kingdom of God, sovereign, violent. Only the violent can take their portion. That doctor said, Yeah, your blood pressure is I said, not mine. He said, Check. I said, Not necessary. My friend, I gave it back to him someday. What nonsense. I don't know one drug of high blood pressure in my life more than 30 years now. What is pressing my blood? You foul devil. Get up. It's time to secure your territory. You are becoming too soft. You are becoming too soft for the devil. It's time to secure your territory. It's a lion. God's word is medicinal. God's word is surgical and God's word is creative. There is no health need that will have any extra demand beyond those three provisions. Therefore, be healed in the name of Jesus. There is the Roman whip that has iron tongues planted in them when you hit someone with it and draw it it draws the flesh along and then the blood Shh. they gave jesus 39 of them and drew it and blood came mm, wow 
and blood came wow. he was taking it for you and me so that's why it's hot when you are hot you mean you can't see what i paid for you you can't see the price i paid for you jesus took 39 wicked roman whips for your head and my head by whose 39 wicked stripes we were he paid a gruesome price for you to live a blossom in life you can't sell that off to ignorance therefore take your healings now In 1979, reading the book of Kenneth e. Hagin, Seven Keys to Divine Healing, I stumbled on light from heaven from Matthew 7, 8, verse 17. Himself took my infirmity and bore my sicknesses. I took. I was told that his past tense when I went to school, and I'm sure they have not changed it. Now, you see, took, took, took from me, took from me. So it can't be there because he already took. And the one who took is the truth. That he cannot lie. So if he said he took, he took. And if he took, it cannot be there. So you can't convince me you have seen what he took. I must not be deceived to think that what he took is inside me. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Be healed in the name of Jesus. Very quickly. Every, behind every sickness and disease is the spirit of infirmity. Literally translated, the spirit of sickness. According to Luke chapter 13, verse 11 and 13. Behind every affliction of sickness and disease is the wickedness of the devil at work. And so went forth Satan and smote Job with sore boys from the sole of his feet to the crown of his head. Job chapter 2 verse 7 The devil's stronghold is darkness His power is called the power of darkness But the strength of darkness is in the absence of light Luke 22 verse 53 Jesus speaking to the devil This is your hour and the power of darkness Chapter 6 of Ephesians, verse 12. For we rest not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, rulers of this wicked world, and wicked spirits in high places. Rulers of the darkness of this world, and wicked spirits in high places. We are wrestling against wicked spirits in dark places. Dark places. Can I hear your amen? Psalm 74, verse 20. Have respect to the covenant of God for the dark places of the earth. They are full of the habitations of cruelty. So we are at war against the powers of darkness that afflict men with sickness and disease. But there is the light that shines in darkness, and darkness cannot stop. That is the light of the word of God. For in him is life the word is life and the life is the light of man and the light shines in darkness and darkness can't stop it so if the battle is against the powers of darkness then let's use the power of light to disarm him there will never be a contention between darkness and light every time light comes what happens darkness vanishes not disappears vanishes the dominion of 
light over darkness is instant. How? Instant. When you turn on the light in your room, darkness appears. You can't say darkness. Wait, oh, I'm going to turn on the light. Go now when I turn on the light. Oh. No, no discussion. The dawning of light is the end of discussion with darkness. Please understand this. All you need to have dominion over sickness and disease, which is what you call health, is light. Light at the appropriate intensity. Light at the appropriate intensity. Light is in degrees. The more intense the light, the greater your level of command. Life in appropriate intensity. Hmm. Somebody's taking delivery of it. If that's you, let me hear your loudest amen. Please, what is in God's word that heals? Just like we said. God's word is the light that shatters all the paths of darkness responsible for all manner of sickness and disease. There is the irresistible divine light in the world. For the entrance of his word giveth light. And that light shines in darkness and darkness can't stop it. We have this graphic illustration in Job 33 verse 21 to 25. Everybody in this church knows that. He said, His flesh is consumed that it cannot be seen, and his bones that were not seen stick out. The man is dried up. He said, Yea, his soul drawn nigh to the grave, and his life to the destroyers, which is a wizard trying to pass on him. If there be a messenger with him, an interpreter one among a thousand who will show unto man his right to total health then god will be merciful to him and will say deliver him from going out to defeat i have found a ransom then his flesh shall be fresher than a child he shall return to the days of his youth that is instant supernatural restoration receive that now in the name of jesus What's in the world that heals? In closing, divine nature is in the world that gets us immune to all sickness and disease. Divine nature is the ultimate immunity against all sickness and disease. Second Peter chapter 1 verse 4 Whereby are given unto us These exceeding great and precious promises That by these we might be partakers of the divine nature Having escaped the corruption that is in the world through loss So we partake of divine nature from the world And that is our ultimate immunity Against every sickness and disease Divine nature is absolutely anti-sickness and disease you can't trace sickness and disease in divine nature so the more we bask in the healing world of scriptures the healthier we live the healthier we live the healthier we live not everybody in the world is caring about human nature a large number of people in this church are carrying around divine nature divine nature divine nature is real i'm not carrying human nature human nature can't do what i'm doing this is divine nature unmistakable divine nature eaten up by scriptures eaten up by scriptures there are some people that are enlightened others are illuminated 
now there are those who are illuminated others are illuminants it's in degrees you can wear god physically yes sir. <laughs> you can put on jesus physically the thesis are it is by assessing this great and precious promises that we imbibe divine nature that's why we recommend books and tapes one of my sons has cancer of the bladder the word entered him he said there is no sort thing in my body in america they took him back to the something they can't find it it's a free man he said he heard me say everything in existence has a spiritual root so everything in existence has a spiritual solution everything in existence has a spiritual because by him were all things made without him was not anything made that was made so if all things were made by the world all things are under the control of the world all things including your health things hebrews chapter 1 verse 3 he opposed all things by the word of his power glory to god they couldn't find this they said go we can't see it again everything ceased i said send me the medical report he sent the medical report and quoted the scripture that fired that into his life quoted what i said everything has a spiritual rule and so everything has a spiritual solution this thing has a spiritual solution and they run into it you are free somebody's blessed let me hear your loudest amen let me hear your loudest amen give the lord a big hand of praise everybody shall we all rise to our feet please take your bottles of anointing oil in one moment every time the word came it heals instantly god's word does what he's instantly let me hear you say it again god's word he is instantly the entire world was created instantly in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth instantly and god saw that it was good he spoke the word the centurion servant was he the self same hour. god's word prescribes the oil as a spiritual medium for transmission of the healing virtue is any sick among you call upon the others let them anoint him with oil in the name of the lord the prayer of faith shall save the sick and the lord shall raise him up so this is a prescription within the great balm the word of life put a little of this oil on your fingertip and now straight to your forehead and say by the word of god i take my instant healing name that foul spirit name it and crush it reti saga i take my healing by the word of the lord that prescribed the oil as a medium for destroying every yoke of sickness and disease i take my healing by the word of god through the mystery of this anointed all in the name of jesus name the power spirit and say you have lost your grip of me take off your hand of my life now in the name of jesus in jesus precious name we are praying by another prescription of the great bound we have the revelation of the oil as a divine sweeper of every child and consumer of fire of the same in our system matthew 3 11 to 13 all that believe 
in the mystery of the fan and the fire of the Holy Ghost. The anointing destroys you, and the Bible said it consumes it with unquenchable fire. So whatever represents a chaff in your system, whatever is being secreted that must not be secreted, whatever is overflowing that must not overflow, whatever is not being supplied that must be supplied, Yakatu kari sekeri ande karabayo takleria zeziza rako taprekene Yeshu shiara daba. Therefore, by faith, in the great prescription of the great physician, take a shot of this oil and celebrate your victory. Celebrate God for 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 your victory. Come on, celebrate God for your victory. God's word is instantly. Reti sagari ale tabra baya katalo. Zezia. People are being healed already. Growth is disappearing already. Pains are disappearing already. Heart palpitation is seizing right now. Every siege of infertility is being turned around. High blood pressure, hypertension. Hepatitis B, hepatitis A, whatever represents a humiliation of your body, which has been fully paid for, be free. Waste pain is gone, ankle pain is gone, knee dislocation is gone, ankle dislocation is gone. Somebody set free. Come on, celebrate Jesus, magnify Jesus, glory to the Lord in Jesus. Precious name, we are praying. God never leaves us there without a witness. Multitudes have been taught here. You want to share your testimony? We just sing in the two, two, three, five minutes, and then we take some testimonies. The final say. I say, who has the final say? Come to the front, to the front, make sure you come with your bags, please. 
if you don't have your bag there, go and pick it right now because we're closing the service right from here. Except you have your friend who's keeping your bag or your items for you, we go out with it with you. Otherwise, please get your Bibles and your bags from your seat before we start taking the testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Come on, let's praise him the more. My life around Jehovah Toss. My life around. He makes the way. Whatever you stood for in this service returns to you for a testimony. Just the next three minutes, we take a few of these testimonies. Get seated, please, one moment. Three minutes, please. Hallelujah. Please, as you hear your name, you come towards the altar to present yourself. Check the sun, check the sun, please, control. Ogunu Moses. Five years asthma immediately after taking the shot of the oil healed totally <laughs> Baba Lola Temitokwe for the past five years had a growth on the forehead and strange object in the tummy the two disappeared the growth on the forehead disappeared did you hear that growth in the forehead and in the tummy both disappeared in center. Uh, 
Agudeayo, sister Agudeayo, had itching all over the body since the last seven years, consistent itching. But in the course of the service, the itching has stopped for the first time in seven years. Agalaba Anthony, according to him, had a nagging knee dislocation that has been there for one week. But in the course of the service, the pain has disappeared. No more pain again. Okay, or more tired. As far back as she can remember, the last five years she's always had very painful menstrual period, and that is how she came to the church this morning. But in the course of the service, that pain has disappeared for the first time in five years, month after month. Solomon Opute have been having heart palpitation in the last five months. But somebody brought him to church today, and in the course of the service, the heart palpitation has stopped, and it has stopped forever. <laughs> Fumi Ajayi, for four months I've been having this ulcer pain, but in the course of the service, the pain disappeared, never to come back. <laughs> Peter I neck pain for six months gone in the course of the service E.K. Guerra for five years had eye pain for which he has gone for surgery but no solution but in the course of the service that pain disappeared now he can see clearly for me alaka for two weeks now, has been had serious kata and sneezing. But in the course of the service, the kata has been healed and no more sneezing. Elizabeth Igele, Elizabeth Igele, since the last three months had this chronic pain around the waist and the stomach region. But during the ward, according to her, she felt a cool feeling and now those pains are no longer there. One more. Obina Austin Ilo, for the last one week, consistent chronic cough, according to him. But after he took the oil, the cough ceased, never to come back again. Aid the one money favor. For five years, I've been having this strange moving object inside of her, but Immediately she took the anointing oil, the strange movement disappeared, never to come back again. Shall we all rise and bless the name of the Lord, please? Amen. For all these testimonies and many more, lots are outside here that we cannot read. We return all the glory back to Jesus. Lift up your two hands because your testimony is going home with you yourself. Everybody is going home with this or testimony today. Come on, give God thanks for your testimonies. And thank you for making all these ones permanent. All the testimonies that we have received today, they are declared permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. From Proverbs chapter 13 and verse 17, a faithful ambassador is entitled to total health. Who is an ambassador? Someone reconciling others to Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 20. Now we are ambassadors of Christ because we are reconciling others to Christ. So this project, one winner, one soul, every week is an opportunity to ensure your total health in Christ. If I bear that fruit, I will make fit so it can bear more fruit. Everyone that has been partaking of soul winning, I decree that your health remains sustained forever. Go in peace. Celebrate your victory forever. In Jesus' precious name. In Jesus' precious name.
Bishop David Oyedepo has just placed in your hands the key to all-round victory, exploits, success, and unquestionable dominion over all life's challenges. The end has come to all your struggles in Jesus' name. Please share your testimony with us. Write Bishop David Oyedepo, 21688 Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Call 774-7546, 774-7547-774-7548. And best of all, come hear the man of God live as you worship with us at Faith Tabernacle, Canaan Land, Kilometer 10 Idiroko Road, Otta.